The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service recently released its final strategic plan for climate change, the agency's blueprint for reducing the impacts of climate change on America's fish and wildlife resources. And joining me now is Dr. Rowan Gould, Acting Director of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Thank you. How are you doing today? Good. Very good. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Dr. Gould is here to talk to us about how the service is working with its partners to implement the plan and rise to the challenge of a rapidly changing climate. So tell us a little bit about climate change, what the service is doing. Well, um, climate change is the driving force for the Fish and Wildlife Service. It's, it's happening right now. And what the rec service recognizes is that we've got to do something now. And we don't have a lot of time because it's happening and apparently at an accelerated rates. So it's an action that's important to us because it affects habitat, affects all the critters that we care so much about. Right, and in terms of some of the effects of climate change on natural resources, let's get a little bit more into that. Well, it affects the habitats as you're aware, and it affects the movements, and it affects the habits of the critters. Uh, as an example, what we're seeing with polar bears, we're seeing move, the ice movement offshore getting further and further away, so the polar bears themselves are having to swim longer distance. And if you've been watching the news lately, the effects of much reduced ice in the Chukchi Sea and the Bering Sea walruses are hauling out on the land in unprecedented numbers and um, who knows what's going to happen is there going to be a, a, a food effect on those that particular species louisiana and the gulf coast you see that there's subsidence of habitat you see that there's rising sea levels in the habitat for fish ducks the shorebirds are being adversely affected i don't think people realize that migration corridors are being affected for species. In some cases, the migration corridors are going to be cut, and some species don't have the ability to make the transition from one side to the other. We have to deal with those. Water is being affected by climate change. The availability of water, um, the location of water, Precip precipitation patterns are changing so that um, it really confuses the natural order of things. Commercial fishing, there's a lot of jobs out there that relate to um, the critters, which are going to be affected by climate change. Now, how is the Fish and Wildlife Service responding to this challenge? One of our main functions is to make the American public aware of what's going on in terms of this nation's natural resources. Our strategy for dealing with these particular problems are in three areas. We're going to be addressing adaptation issues, mitigation issues, and information education. We are proactively going to the American public, going to our partners and saying, climate change is real. Climate change is something we all need to deal with. Climate change is something we need information on. Remember, we've got to think not five years from now, 10 years from now, but what is happening that's going to affect our mission 100 years from now. Indeed. Thank you very much, Dr. Rowan Gould, Acting Director of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Indeed. And thank you for joining us.